guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. I'm Hegley for anyone that's new, and this is what we eat in a week. Homemade sausage roll, homemade stuffed portobello mushroom, homemade quiche. Steve's very own homegrown rocket is very proud of himself. This was pasta bake, did not like them shells. Got them from Amazon, they looked like a witch's hat, didn't like them. Anyway, yeah, we had that with Gallo bread. <laughs> oh. Back on the menu, guys. You all know what this is. Jacob potato, then your cheese, then your fish and butter sauce, and loads of pepper. Homemade spam fritter and homemade chips. Oh, I tell you. Best thing I ever did was buy that massive tube to make the spam fritters, I tell you. It, oh. So Steve um, made some homemade uh, tuna cakes tuna and sweet corn cakes half were coated in panko half weren't he has done that as a video so that will be coming up no doubt he'll leave me to voice over and he had it with some new potatoes and rabbit food and again there's his rocket <laughs> that he's focusing on there's me rocket guys tell him well done in the comments for his rocket guys honestly <laughs> so we're on sunday so I started Sunday with my Monster Kit Kat cake. Yes, I do call it my Monster Kit Kat cake. <laughs> um, I would say, because it's three layers, I would say it stands maybe, maybe 20, 20 25 centimetres tall. Hence the monster. Yeah. So I'm not using my mixer, get me. What on earth is going on? So I'm regretting it at this point, but onward I go. <laughs> Cream in the butter and sugar. Yes, that's a large amount, but this is a monster cake. In it is so chocolatey and moist. I would recommend, I didn't do it because I forgot, but I would recommend <laughs> this part here. So there's a lot of cocoa and then a lot of boiling water, but it's got to come down to more or less um, body temperature before you can use it. I didn't think ahead, so I had to wait. I prepped the rest of my things, but I had to wait. You can see that's hot. It's got to be hot water. You can see it's a lot of water going in. And I'm specific. <laughs> Give it a good mix. But again, I sort of handicapped myself here because I then had to leave it to cool down. So I would suggest doing this part first. If you decide to make it. If you did do make it, send me a picture and I can put it on the community post. Anyone that makes stuff, please send me pictures and I'll put them on the community post. I'd love to share what you make. And what you thought of it, even if you didn't like it. So I'm just going to leave that cool down. As it cools, it'll thicken. So into here, in the meantime, we've got five large eggs going into this. I think it was five. The recipe will be put in anyway, guys. If it's not in as soon as you watch the video, it will be in sometime during the day. Make sure it's really well mixed in. By all means, use a stand mixer or a hand mixer. I just had a stupid moment. Make sure it's well incorporated before you add the next one in. Keep going until you put all your eggs in. Kids only broke up on Friday and it's been blooming hard work, I tell you. <laughs> Trying to get anything done. So much harder when they're at home, isn't it? 
Especially when you got one that's like me, don't like to be outside. And then the other one's like Steve. And it, she wants in the garden constantly. We had thunderstorms today. Today being Sunday, that I'm voicing this over. We had um, thunderstorms. About half past five times, six o'clock. So she couldn't go out. So she wanted Happy Bunny. So then they're together. Ugh, squealing at each other, as, as they do. Told them to carry on, I'm going to peck them out by their ears. So I'm just putting my dry ingredients together. Again, I've still got to wait for the thing to cool down. So even once I've done this, I've still got about 20 minutes of waiting time. So I figured I may as well get this done and then it's out of the way then. And this cake is so tender and moist. It's really, really nice. A chocoholic stream, I would say. My kids absolutely loved it. So it's the best chocolate cake they've had. Cheeky beggars. I make loads of chocolate cakes. They're saying the other ones are rubbish. <laughs> I have waited till that's cooled down. It's just the magic of the camera. So as you put, put it in in thirds, as you put some flour in, put some of the um, chocolate liquid and keep a stirring. Once it's once you can see that it's combined, stop. And then add the next line. My little Amy was at the side of me in the minute. And she's like, Mum, that looks really full. I think you should pour it into that silver one. And I'm grinning to myself thinking, you know what, Amy, you're probably bumming right. <laughs> so that's what I do. This makes a lot of batter. So you want three eight inch tins. There's a little feet. Oh, you can just see them. And when I poured it in, she says, did you think of that before? I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just pouring it into the uh, stainless steel bowl because it's bigger. So that's the flour that was left in there. And I'm just adding the rest of the liquid. So it's a really simple cake to make. But trust me, it's probably going to be one of the best ones you taste. Just be prepared for how monstrous it is. So I can feel with the whisk. And Fiona, yes, I am using my kid's whisk again because it's better than mine. <laughs> she keeps telling me off, guys, for using the kiddos' whisks. I could feel when I was mixing where the um, flour was, so I was just going for that. Make sure I got all that. Just divide it as equally as you can. Don't have to be perfect. If you want it to be perfect, then weigh it out. I don't care that much to do that. And Amy's like, can I have the whisk? Can I have the whisk? Can I have the whisk? <laughs> there it goes. Give it a tap. You can see it's quite a liquid. And this is what makes it so light. And it went into the oven and that was that. So simple. Now, now I'm going to poach my fish. So I made a mistake. I put in a um, fish order maybe once every two months. And I spend a 30 odd quid and it's, and it's enough and it's enough prawns and such to last us all that time. <clears throat> but one of the bags I picked, so hang on a sec, we've got smoked haddock, salmon, cod and yeah, prawns. You see how small they were? I had to de them tiny little things and devein them. 
I was not amused. It took me 45 minutes sat in my chair, deveining these piddly little bloody prawns. That'll teach me not to look at what I order, won't it? Anyway, I'm done moaning. So I'm going to poach the fish. But not the prawns. And then I put it on a simmer for 20 minutes. And I've come back. So take it out. That's a salmon. I think personally, you need the smoked, the smoked fish. You've got to have the smoked fish because it gives so much flavour to the sauce. I definitely think it's needed for my taste, anyway, for our family. I've tried it without having the smoked fish, and I think it's quite bland. Now, when I make fish pie normally, I usually put vegetables inside the pie. This time I'm not going to. Because we're going to have them on the side. Because they're fussy, ain't they? So these tiny little prawns are going in. That I mistakenly ordered. <laughs> I wonder why they were so cheap. Oh. And there was in there maybe a minute. They didn't need any longer than that. See, they're already cooked through. Don't overcook your prawns, guys. They don't need like 10 minutes cooking. They're tiny. Well, the one actually as tiny as I'm making out, but they're small, smaller than the king prawns that I'm used to, obviously. Just made do. Anyway, I emptied the milk out into a jug because I'm going to use that for my sauce. Oh, there's a prawn. Found it. <laughs> So, I thought I'd turn the camera on, but I hadn't. So, in here I put butter, cream cheese, and a teaspoon of whole grain mustard. And I'm just melting that down. I always put cream cheese in. Always. Always, always, always. And I'm going to put a couple of heaping spoons of flour in. And you need, and I've chucked it all over me cook a look. You should have heard me. <laughs> I won't, well, I won't repeat what I said. We do have delicate ears on this channel. But yeah. Cook out the flour. Minimum of a minute. Minimum. Ideally a couple of minutes. Then start adding back your hot milk. Because there's fat in that flour, it will not get lumpy. Promise you. It looks like dog vomit at the minute, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but trust me, it does all become really smooth. And all you've got to do is whisk it. I don't know where that come from. No idea. You can see that the little clumps of uh, flour are dissolving. Just make sure you're stirring all the milk and the, before you add another batch. So I have finished with all the milk, let it thicken up. Now I'm popping some cheese in and the dog is somewhere about. I dropped a chunk and I noticed it was gone so she snuck in. Not my favourite job, 
grating cheese to be perfectly honest. So that's just mature cheddar. And that'll melt pretty quickly. Add as much as you like. Stick some parmesan in as well if you want to. I didn't because the kids don't like it. All day I spent. From half past nine until I think we at at half past five, quarter to six. All day. Just to make a fish pie. Now it doesn't take that long to make a fish pie, but at the minute. In this house it does. Especially if you don't want to want to eat chips every day. Do a bit, sit down, do a bit, sit down. But it gets it done. So there's not they're not as small as I made out, you know? But um there was when I was peeling them. <laughs> So I always say, if you're going to have a fish pie, have a lot of fish in there. Enjoy it. Because it's not a cheap thing to eat these days. So if you're going to pay for the fish anyway, have enough that you're all going to enjoy it. You're all going to have a decent amount of fish in there. Well, that's just my humble opinion. You don't need the skin in there, guys. <laughs> Take it off. My kids, when they were eating it, they were like, Mom, look at the size of that fish. I was like, yeah, I know, I'll put it in there. <laughs> That's some salmon, and then we'll go. Oh, no, it was the other piece of smoked haddock. Just making sure I get the skin off. And then I crumbled the salmon on there as well. And my cook is a mess. <laughs> I added the sauce until it was level with the fish and set aside the, the remaining to pour on later on. I did a pan of potatoes enough to cover this for the four of us and I was so proud of the girls they ate everything absolutely everything all the vegetables all the fish pie do I even need to say all the piece of cake <laughs> So now I'm delicately going to put this on there. There we go. Let's see, that's delicate. Slap it on. When you cook, all this needs now is to be heated through. And when I put some cheese on top and pop it in the oven, I'll be putting it on a tray because you can always guarantee that if you cook anything like a shepherd's pie or a fish pie, something that's got a sauce at the bottom, then it's going to like bubble over it and you don't want it on the bottom of your oven. So I always put it on a baking tray. So I flatten out this part and then I put the rest on and then I slap some cheese on top and Bob's your uncle. I don't know if it picks up on here, but outside I can hear a lot of shouting. And not good shouting. Oh, I nearly lost it, did you see? I'd have cried. I would have cried. So, vegetables. This was really nice tender stem. I've been hearing off um, some of my friends that the tender stem they're getting at the minute is a bit rank. It smells funny. No problem with this one. 
none at all. Where did he get it from? I think it was Lidl. So we've got tender stem, sweetheart cabbage. This I don't mind this cabbage. I have got a white one as well that needs using up. So let's get it used in the week. Oh, you know what? I keep trying to use this peeler. I ate it. I was like, ooh, isn't it great when I first got it? And now I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I just want to use my knife. Just chop some carrots. Miscalculated. I could have done with a few more, actually. Because out of everything on here, veg-wise, Amy only eats carrots. I've been trying to get her to eat the others and salad, but it's hard work. And I don't want to push that much that she's actively resisting just because I'm pushing, if that makes sense. I'll keep asking and putting things on a plate. If she doesn't eat it, she doesn't eat it. But I only put carrots on today. Quite a few of this, these that were on there. That's why I say I kind of underestimated the carrots. And she ate them all, so. I'll take the victories where I can. So, time to put together the Kit Kat cake. And there's me big big tub of Kit Kat so the weather is warmer if I put this in the fridge then I'm not going to be able to get it out that's my stomach making that noise <laughs> so it's um it's, a, it's like a cocoa spread and it's got pieces small tiny pieces of um the Kit Kat in it so I thought I would chuck a load of this on bottom one Oh, I sounded right chavvy then. To the ump bottom one. <laughs> oh dear. That's my hometown coming out in me. I don't know where that went that was on my finger. I have no idea. And then I'm going to put a bit of cream on. Just a bit. I'm not concerned about spreading it right to the edge because it's going to get squished to the edge anyway. Now this chocolate is going to ooze down the sides. That's fine by me. It sets up a bit when it goes into the fridge. Now this is just the second one. <laughs> Look how dark that chocolate is. Oh. So I'm just putting a thin layer of this raspberry conserve on. I'm not a massive raspberry fan, to be perfectly honest. And I put the rest of the cream on. You can see the chocolate's oozing now. And there goes the lid. That's the Kit Kat Monster Cake. As simple as that. Put whatever you like in it, I suppose. That's the pie when it come out of the oven. Before it got mangled, as they all do when you cut into them. And there it is, on said plate. It was absolutely delicious. If I say so myself. Fish pie, so easy. Some people think it must be so difficult, but it's not. That was sauce that was left until I shoved it on my plate. Loads of fish in there. But you always get one. I lay me. Oh, I think I only got three prawns. So she took mine. Typical, isn't it, with kids? And there is the monster cake. And I did cut that without it falling all over the place. I'll have you now. <laughs> I don't think I've got a picture, actually. I might take a picture and just put it on the community post tomorrow. So the Monster Kit Kat cake. Please guys, will you hit the th thumbs up button? You have done on the other videos and it's made such a difference. Thank you so, so much. Can you do it again for this one for me, please? Hit the thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it. That's fine. And I will chat to you in the comments below. Look out for Steve's video 
and me doing a voiceover to something I hadn't even seen him make, so that'll be interesting. Um, and we'll see you for the haul, which I believe is Tesco again, is it Tesco? Which will be Wednesday. So I'll see you on Wednesday, guys. Bye.